Hello, I haven't started off the vlog yet today. I've been busy. I went to an event with Christian. We went to Porch Fest, which is like an outdoor event in all these homes. Basically like a, a bunch of different vendors and bands that play on the porches of people's homes. So that's why it's called Porch Fest. And it's just all throughout this like neighborhood back road area. It was really fun. We've never been and it was just a cool opportunity. I mainly went to go film content for Jolly Time, which is a popcorn company. I've never had an opportunity like that before. So it was really just fun to go and shoot content. And right now I'm putting together the like Instagram reel, TikTok to submit to them. And um, I took some photos. I'm going to do a voiceover for uh, this video and also just submit the raw footage but it's not for my social media it is for their own use it was really just like a cool different opportunity so i was kind of just focused on getting content for that instead of getting content for my youtube channel so christian and i spent a couple hours there and it was a lot of fun and then we came back and he went to the ucf basketball game with a friend so i'm just gonna sit here i put on like real clothes <laughs> to go shoot the content so i think i'm gonna change into like my normal comfies and edit this reel and send it do a voiceover and send it in so that way i can get this off but yeah it was a lot of fun and i was grateful for the opportunity to shoot some content for them so not really doing much today other than that had a slow-ish morning and then we drove to samford came back and now i'm just editing and I'll probably cook dinner at home. Don't really know what, but I want to try and like put something together that we already have. Yeah, just wanted to start off the vlog, let you know what I've been up to, and yeah. Okay, it's later. Just closing the blinds. I'm gonna straighten up the couch. Our couch does stay pretty, you know, put together because it is kind of more structured of a couch, which is good. So it kind of helps it look better a majority of the time because it is so structured. But I just started a load of towels in the washer. I wanted to get ahead of my laundry for tomorrow. I just finished putting together the TikTok video that I'm gonna submit. Sorry if you're shaking, you're on the couch. Anyways, um, I need to drink, I need to chug water. I haven't had enough water today. I've kind of just been like sitting, going through. I had 89 different clips to go through. So I was kind of like rearranging clips and trying to align them perfectly and then I had to figure out what I was gonna say and get that up. I kind of like typed it out and read it. Um, so it just took a while to kind of like skim through clips and then rearrange them into like a perfect way to match what I was going to say. Sorry, this is like in the way. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and then I'll cook dinner. One con about this bag is that it's a black hole and I can't find anything in it. This little bag that it does come with, which is like the cheapest thing ever, um, is what keeps it organized. But this bag, I get the most compliments on this bag and it was like 50 some dollars on Amazon. Like I have never had so many people compliment me on a bag or Christian said that he overheard some girls, which is so sweet. It's almost sweeter when people like don't compliment you to your face, but like you hear them talk about you like behind your back in a way, but like in a, like they compliment you. 
Christian was like, those girls just said, like, oh my god, she looks so cute. Like, look at her. I love her outfit, her shoes, like, her purse is so cute. And I just think that kind of stuff, like, makes me feel so good. But I never have gotten so many compliments on a purse. And I just love the color red. And I wear a lot of neutrals anyway, so I feel like it just goes with everything. It's, like, a great year-round bag. Like, I love this for summer, obviously for winter, around the holidays and everything. But I just love this bag. Anyways, I just got in the car. It says that it's 84 degrees, but it is pretty chilly. It's like hot in the sun, but it feels chilly to me. Like I almost want a long sleeve on, but I just have this really comfortable t-shirt from Abercrombie & Fitch that I picked up. I was influenced by follow Sweet Tea with Maddie on Instagram. She's like from my area. She went to Rollins College. I've just been following her for so long. She has, she's like my style inspo. I love her stuff. And she was recommending this tea and it was like on sale for 20 bucks from Abercrombie and Fitch and I picked it up. And it's like, has slightly longer sleeves. Fits at a good length. On me, I got the extra small and it just like fits pretty, pretty nice. Like loose, it's not super tight, which I don't always love in a t-shirt. Yeah, it's like really comfy, kind of like softer, but not too soft just like a great t-shirt so I can link it but I'm gonna go to the grocery store have like a quick grocery trip we basically have like the main items for our dinners this week we just need the sides and last week our grocery bill was under a hundred dollars for the week and I want to try and like make it a goal to do that again this week it's always the best thing ever when your grocery bill is like under a hundred dollars for the week it kind of just like is a different type of joy that it brings me it's like yes it's almost like a goal to make my grocery bill under $100 per week. And then I have an Ulta pickup order. I needed more face wash and um, more hairspray. And I'll share the products that I use. I have the biggest zit right here. I just touched it. I haven't had a zit this big in months, honestly. I don't get them that big that often. They usually go away in a day or two, but I think I'm about to get my period or something. And I don't know why I'm so chatty right now. Um, I'm just in like a chatty mood. I'm definitely like the most chattiest person you will ever meet like I always have something to talk about I could talk your ear off talk about absolutely nothing for hours on end and I find that if I don't talk enough throughout the day or throughout my work day I like unload on Christian I'm just like non-stop talking don't let him get a word in he just sits there and listens it's so great but I'm also very quiet when I first meet you but like after I meet you get to know you I just can't shut up anyways I'm gonna go to the grocery store I got these sunglasses from lace Back, and I don't have any sunglasses that are this small on my face I usually love like bigger sunglasses like these these are my favorite sunglasses ever and they're from Urban Outfitters and I think I got them for under 20 bucks I have two of them well, actually I have three of them I have a tortoise shell and then I have two black pairs this pair is like my pair that I've had for four years now and it's like the best $20 I've ever spent. I, I'm i obsessed with them. I love the way that they look and they feel pretty great. They don't feel super cheap. So I bought like a second pair and I think they still sell them because I bought a second pair last year because I didn't want to ever be without these or have these break or get scratches on the lenses. But these are my favorite sunglasses ever, under $20. But I just got these like um two months ago. I think they're pretty cute. I'm just not used to like having small shades on my face but I don't know I can link them I got the tortoise shell these are pretty these are under a hundred dollars I think they're like 60 something which I don't think is a bad price for good quality sunglasses so I can link these down below I don't think my Ulta pickup order is gonna be ready yet they were doing 10% off for pickup I always check my email before I go to Ulta just in case they have like little coupons. They're doing 10% off, which isn't nothing, but it, it saves you a couple dollars, which is always nice. And um, yeah, so I decided to pick up, which I'd probably do anyway, because it keeps me from going in and browsing and buying stuff that you don't need. You kind of just buy what you know you need and then you just go and pick it up and then leave. So you're not picking anything else up. I have like just been feeling really low energy this weekend and Honestly, I don't want to do anything. A lot of the times on the weekends when I meal prep or when I'm like cleaning up or being productive, I don't want to do it every time, but I still do it. And I think that's like the key to like meal prepping or like being productive or like doing something that you know your future self or even just like your couple days from now self 
will thank you for. I know that me tomorrow will thank myself today for meal prepping and like going grocery shopping and setting myself up and planning my dinners out this week. So I'm doing it for her, but current me doesn't really have the motivation to do it right now, but I, I never regret doing stuff like this. So I'm trying to just get out, get myself going. People are lying to you if they say that they always have motivation. There's just no way. You kind of just have to be like, I am choosing to do this because I know future me will thank me, so. I just got home from the grocery store. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul because I'm excited about, I guess a couple of the items or all of the items, but just wanted to share what we got this week. Bacon, this is the best bacon ever. We cook it in the oven. We have it every weekend. Got a bunch of limes. I put lime in my water every day. It makes it really nice and it helps with the flavoring of the electrolytes that I put in. They're trace mineral drops. So it kind of helps with the flavor because the trace mineral drops do have a slight flavor. So a bunch of limes. Got pre-washed romaine, which I need to be better because this is pretty pricey for the little bit that you get. I need to go back to washing it myself. Got some tuna packs for lunches on the days that I don't meal prep. So this Friday I'll probably have one with crackers and then I got another one. Nut pods, coffee cake, this is the best. I got these Simple Mill sun-dried tomato and basil crackers for the tuna since I got no flavor in the tuna. And this has good ingredients. You can find on the back of some of the flavored tuna packets so they have all these extra ingredients. So I tried to get one that didn't have all the extra stuff. Tzatziki, we're gonna do Greek chicken bowls for dinner one night, so I got tzatziki and feta. I've been loving mush in the morning. I do wanna try and make my own overnight oats. Sometimes the yogurt bowls just don't keep me full for long enough, so I really have been liking these, and I just put strawberries, and then I add flaxseed and chia seed to them. Super yummy filling, but I definitely wanna try and make them on my own. They've just been on sale the past two weeks at Publix, three for six dollars so i've been stocking up on those these were on an end cap they were buy one get one free i of course had to get poppy because i'm quite literally addicted but only got two they only had two of the dock pops but these are my favorite sparkling water and they're definitely more affordable than poppy i know poppy's more of like a soda but these taste really good and they're not like those slight flavored sparkling waters that you find like lacroix they actually have like a ton of flavor. They taste really good. I love the raspberry lime and this one sounded good. This blood orange tangerine. So I got those for work. Buy one, get one free. And they're just a lot cheaper than poppy. And they kind of satisfy that like bubbly something that you want with lunch or after lunch. Strawberries have been on sale. So that's what I've been buying. Bananas, these are really good little bars, the nutty banana bread, and then I love the peanut butter chocolate chip. This is what I'm so excited about. I think I saw this on TikTok yesterday. It's the Chobani cookie dough creamer. It was buy one, get one free, so I just went ahead and got two. They only had one of these, but I thought the caramel macchiato one would be good. I kind of almost want to make a coffee right now and not drink the whole thing, but just to try it. So I think I'm gonna do that. Peaches, these looked really good. Cucumber for the Greek bowls, some honey crisp apples, peppermint tea, we're doing birria tacos this week. Got them from Trader Joe's a couple weeks ago. So I got these. I think I'm gonna have mine over rice, but I got these just in case I change my mind. And then a bunch of little assorted snacks. This is the haul. I'm gonna put everything away. And then I think I'm gonna make a little coffee and try that and let you know my thoughts. We're gonna try this out. I'm gonna make it into an Americano so that way Christian can try it too. Since I buy cashew milk and he is actually allergic to cashew milk if you didn't know. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do it hot. Okay, we'll just start off with a little. I'm scared, should I do more? Okay. I can't tell. I usually drink iced coffee Definitely has that slight cookie dough taste. I feel like it would be better iced, if I'm being honest. It's really good though, definitely worth trying. I think I will like it iced. I'm gonna try it tomorrow iced and I will report back. 
Christian tried it and he said it was delicious. I'm gonna actually try it over ice. Hopefully not make a mess. Love it iced. Love it iced. It's so good iced. Okay, if you can tell, we just chugged half of it. So definitely check this out if you have it. I got it at Publix. Sorry, the keeps getting blurry, but I got this at Publix, so definitely try it. It is so good. I'm gonna try and not drink this whole thing because it is 4.12 and I'm gonna be up all night and I have work tomorrow, but so good. Definitely try it if you can find this at one of your grocery stores. It is really, really good. Definitely recommend. Okay, we just got home from, I had to pick up my Ulta order really quick. I meal prepped went to Ulta because they close at six on Sundays. Got my favorite hairspray. This one's so good, it brushes out. So if you ever like put too much, you can just brush through your hair and then comes out. And then this is the face wash that I use. And then, then we went to Sprouts and then we went to dinner. And we went to Sprouts mainly to try and get a sauce to spice up our meal prep. So we got some sauces and we of course browsed. And we got the Olipop banana cream that we haven't tried before. We got two of them. <laughs> you love it? You love it, your eyes got wide. It doesn't taste like the fake banana, or does it? It tastes just like those candies. Mm -hmm. It just tastes, I mean, I like banana flavored stuff, so it's got, it's pretty banana flavored. Yeah, we tried this new um, sandwich spot that was in the same parking lot as Ulta and Sprouts called Potbellies and it was so good. It was like a different style sandwich than Publix or Jersey Mike's, which is where we usually go. We don't have any fantastic sandwich shops here in Orlando, but this is pretty good, different, and definitely something that we'll like put in, we call it our rotation. It's just like a what we keep in the back of our mind for places to go for dinner.